Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Angpro Training from Angpro Technologies. So friends, until the last video we have learned the different types of data structures and the searching techniques. So from this class, we are going to study the different sorting algorithms that we are going to implement on the data structures right so first we'll understand the basic idea of sorting and then we'll go and implement the different types of sorting techniques so sorting refers to the arrangement of data in a particular order it can be ascending or descending order so by default if I say sorting uh, it's obviously ascending order right uh, if I want to refer to descending I explicitly or tell I should explicitly tell the descending order right so if I'm sorting the elements that means obviously I'm sorting the elements in the ascending order sorting by default refers to the ascending order so the different types of sorting techniques uh, used in DSR bubble sort insertion sort selection sort quick sort and merset so these are the most commonly used and well-known sorting techniques in today's class we are going to perform the bubble sort so bubble sort algorithm is used to arrange n number of elements in ascending order and for that you have to begin with zeroth element and compare it with the first element right so bubble sort always happens between two elements starting from the first element if the zeroth element is found greater than the first element then the swapping operation will be performed uh, that means we first compare the first element with the second element if we found the first element to be greater or biggest we will just uh, interchange its position with the uh, second element right we will just swap them together it is called bubble sort because with each iteration the smaller element in the list bubbles up toward the first place just like the water bubble rises up to the water surface okay so this is the simple array of four elements so we are going to perform the bubble sort on this so remember if there are n number of elements we are going to perform the comparison between every two elements and there would be n minus one number of comparisons in the first iteration right so first we will match or first we will compare the first element with the second so that is one comparison second with the third second comparison third with the fourth third comparison so there are just three comparisons when we have four elements and in the first iteration right okay is 60 more than 80 no leave it as it is is 80 more than 50 yes so swap it down right so bring this here and 50 goes up one position okay is 80 more than 20 yes so then bring this down one position 820 goes up one position so this is the first iteration and at the end of first iteration we have got the biggest element in the list down the list right so in the first iteration or every iteration each uh, the every biggest element comes down the list right so this is one iteration I'm going for the next iteration now yes this is iteration number 2 is 60 more than 50 yes so swap it here okay is 60 more than 20 yes right is 60 more than 80 no so keep it as it is now 60 is the second biggest that has come down the list right so let's go for the third iteration this is iteration number three is 50 more than 20 yes so then bring up here 50 comes here is 50 more than 60 no is 60 more than 80 no so we are now successfully iterated and successfully sorted all the elements right 20 50 60 and 80 so remember if we have n number of elements we will be performing n minus one number of iterations okay let us perform the bubble sort operation uh, on this array 
So I've got the array where we have got elements of different sizes. There are total uh, nine number of elements and this is the code for bubble sort, right? So this is the initial condition. So we are starting from a zero and we are going to repeat this for loop until i remains less than n. So that is, so this loop is for making sure that we have done the swapping for all the elements. And there is the second loop called uh, the for loop which has got the j variable in it. And uh, this loop runs until j remains less than n minus 1 minus 1. So that is one number less than the total number of elements and one number less than the whole iteration, right? So in the initial stage, in the first iteration, i is 0. So n minus i is again n, 9, 9 minus i is 9, 9 minus 1 is 8. So in the first iteration, j uh, starts from 0 and it iterates until j remains less than 8. So that means we are going to run this loop until all the elements are arranged in the sorted order. Okay, let us perform that. So initially i is 0 and j is 0. Okay, so let us compare a of j with a of j plus 1. a of j is this first element. a of j plus 1 is this second element. Is 30 more than 20? Yes, it is. So just swap it down. How to swap it? We are going to use the temporary variable which holds temporarily uh, the a of jth element. I mean the first element. So let us store the first element here in 30. So 30 is, so 30 is stored in temp. And we will store the a of j plus 1th element in a of j. That means a of j plus 1 is this element. This will go top and we will store the content of temp inside j plus 1. That means content of temp will come here. Right? So this is one pass. Next. Again we are incrementing. Now this time we are incrementing the j. So j is 1 now. So j of a of j is a of 1, a of j plus 1 is a of 2, right? So this is now 30 and this is 80, right? Is 30 more than 80? No, it is not. So let us loop again. j now holds 2. Now a of j is a of 2, that is 80. Now a of j plus 1 is a of 3, that is 60, right? Is 80 more than 60? Yes, it is. Now store a of jth value in temp. So temp will contain 80 and a of j plus 1 will go into a of j. So let's bring this down. It comes here, right? So if j plus, uh, the content of temp will go inside a of j plus 1. So this time I'm not using, I'll do it directly, right? Okay. So I'll increment j now. a of j, that is a of uh, 3. Is this more than a of j plus 1? That is 80 is more than 50. a of j means this one a of j plus 1 is 50 right is 80 more than 50 as yes. then store the a of j value in temp and a of j plus 1 comes in uh, comes into a of jth place right so here this will go up and this will come here right yes okay in the next pass we will increment j to 4 now a of j is 4 is 80 more than a of j plus 1 that is 10 is 80 more than 10 yes 80 is more than 10 so just bring this down and bring this up right next in the iteration we will change j to 5 is j of 5 that is uh, a of 5 is 80 is 80 more than j of j plus 1 that is 70 is 80 more than 70 as yes, then swap it again right so in the next iteration j takes sixth value is a of 6 is more than a of j plus 1 is 80 more than 90 no 
then keep it as it is next j contains the seventh element now a of j has got 90 in it a of j plus has got 40 in it at okay is a of j is more than 40 yes the swap it yes so this is the first iteration once we done the first iteration the biggest element in the list comes down so this has been done now now i takes the first i takes the first element now j is again zero right so now is i is incremented now we are again starting from the beginning so when i is one j is zero yes we are again starting from the beginning a of uh, a of zero is 20 and a of j plus one is 30 right is a of j is more than j plus one no next go to the next uh, iteration is a of j a of j is now 30 right and j plus one is 60 is 30 more than 60? No. Then go to the next change. Is A of J that is 60 is 60. So 60 comes here. Is 60 more than 50? Yes, it is. Then store the A of J in temp and A of J plus 1 in A of J. So just swap this down. Yes. So next, when j is three, is a of three that is sixty is more than a of j plus one that is ten. Yes. So swap it again. Right. Next, when j changes to four, um, a of j that is a of four is sixty. A of J plus 1 is 70. Is 60 more than 70? No. Go to the next number. Now A of 5 is 70. A of J plus 1 is 80. Is 70 more than 80? No. Next go to the next chain. A of, uh, now A of 6 is 80 and j plus 1 is 40 yes is a of j is more than a of j plus 1 yes it is then swap it down right then go to the next number is a of 7 is 80 a of j plus 1 is 90 right is a of j is more than a of j plus 1 no so keep it keep it as it is right so in this pass we have get the second biggest number down the list right so this is over now so look at here when we end up with this list j has got seven which is one number less than i and one number less than the total iteration so that is why we have taken n minus i minus one that is nine minus i minus one so in the next iteration 70 will come here and next 60 come here 50 will come here 40 comes in this place 10 goes up the list 30 here 20 here 10 here so whenever we reach this right so when i is 8 j is 7 so this is the status of our list so all elements will have been sorted in the order right so this is the code complete code so this is the complete code of sorting elements using bubble sort well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin thank you